Hello, welcome to Project Dark. Um, I want, um, so what's going to be interesting about this recording is um, I'm going to treat it like a live um, demo recording. You know, not really running out of script. Because, you know, it's like games and stuff. It's kind of hard to, you know, like demo like demo stuff and do a, do a game. So, um, I'll play the game. I'll try to explain to the best of my ability what's going on in the game. And so we're going to play what's called Project Dark. Um, I guess I'll give you a little background. This game kind of came to me when I was kind of at my one of my lowest points in my life. And I'm going to like ironically say this is that the game kind of didn't turn out the way I wanted it to be. Which is no good because I can take it on to my next project. But um, yeah, as you can see this is the, the, the menu. You know, you can quit. You know, immediately cancel out the application or you can click play and you know we'll, we'll play the game so we can play and we're in the action we're gonna start and we're getting ready to shoot our gun and we picked up a green little box so that's our medical items that's how we heal if we take damage help this guy damage me real quick or you know that that happens too <laughs> all right uh hold on let me let me let me start the program real quick that seems to kind of happen a bit when um it's a bug I haven't really been able to crack since developing on this project, so <laughs> it's kind of a funny one. Is that like the characters just kind of permanently um, knocked up there, and that's kind of just out of my control at that point. Um, I may fix that in later builds, but for now, um, we're just gonna try to get that back up, back that back up and running. Uh, project Dark. Right there it is. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Alright, so we're gonna let this guy hurt me just for the sake of to show them. Um, okay. So, you see, I am, I am hurt, and I will press C, and I am fully healed. Um, there's also an interesting bug is, um, it'll also grab more items than it needs to. And I guess that bug kind of happens because, you know, um, it's an on collision thing, so it's like as long as I physically touched it and I physically touched it for like a second there, and the my game probably registered like seven frames of that data. Uh, that's gonna be a little hard for you to understand, so I will not go into great detail with that. As you can see here, the enemies are you know chasing me. You know, um, Unity's AF mesh nav mesh has does a really beautiful job with that. And, um, you know, they're going to chase me. It's f like, I can go, no matter how far I go on the map, they will just uh, continue to chase me, follow me. Um, oh, jeez, I've, I've led a conga line here. Alright, so let's start killing some. Uh, oh, that was a little harsh for us to start vanquishing enemies. As you can see, I am shining my flashlight on the enemy, and they're turning yellow. That's that's because um, these enemies are protected by a shroud, which is like their, their darkness, per se. And you want to shine the light on them, and they can only take damage when they're like yellow, glowing yellow like that. So we'll do it again. Oh, you see, he healed up. As you can see, if you, um, you know, let them go go around for a while, then they will go back to their normal color. So it's always good to use the players to keep shining your light on them. You know, their AI isn't really too advanced. They're just gonna follow you, the player. So you know, if you do what I did and follow what I did, and just kind of just do a little con, like do a little dance around them, then you can pretty much round them up for easy pickings. As I'm doing here. so, um, yeah, this is pretty much the guess of Project Dark is that you're just trying to vanquish 40 enemies to free up the level. Sadly, uh, in this demo, I didn't really get far to make some levels for this, so this is the only like buildable level right now. So, we'll, we'll explore a bit. Um, as you can see here, pretty neat that they're still able to follow me, even no matter like how complex I take the path. But we're gonna go down here and uh, you know, walk along the level, and there should be more... Um, Oh, oh, okay, I see. Okay, no, okay. See, look, there's another health pick up here. We, we touch that, we get another health pick. 
Yeah, I've scattered them around the map, so, you know, people, so it's always a good idea to explore and find the health pickups, you know, and always keep running so the enemies don't, um, stop you. Now you got a lot of open space to operate, too. That's just kind of basic level design. Um, so, I did have a safe haven thing planned, but, uh, for some reason it kept breaking my game when I tried to have it to quit the thing. I don't know why that is, so for now, this should be the simpler way of, um in the game so we're just gonna keep going we're just gonna keep going pretty good stuff you know the enemies are following us we keep shining the light on them as you can tell every enemy i kill or i vanquish that kills a really strong word for a game like this um is adding to the counter and once that counter gets 40 our game should should end Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. That, they almost got me there. I was not. See, this is what happens when you're not being an attentive player. They, they, they'll get you. So, keep going. I know those sound effects are a little loud, so I apologize um, if you're wearing headphones. So, as cool as the bullets I'm shooting are not like any form of like a hit scan. It's not like shooting like a, like a visible line. It's actually like a physical projectile hitting the enemy that's also like another physical object so we keep going around them and shooting and getting them what's cool is um unity has really saved me a lot of time though um i didn't have to like program my own camera because i'm using a plugin called cinemachine that allows me to seamlessly add camera tracking now however um the this here like me spinning around and you know doing this woo uh i had to i had to program it myself and um i really don't want to get into this let's just say um i, I there's an invisible line that's going along here where my mouse is and my character always point to where the mouse is but hey we're um making some good good work some good progress but yeah, this is this is the gist of it. It's a, not a very complex game, but this, for my first game, I'm really proud of it. It's gone, gone pretty far with it. Okay, let's just keep on uh, fighting the enemy. Man, they're like a horde of zombies, aren't they? Yeah, so, um, I guess a note, an interesting note about this is, um, I, I kind of made this game to kind of feel how depression and anxiety felt to me, and as you can see right now, these enemies are like, they're like clogging together, clobbering up. Um, this is kind of how it feels like, like, just a lot of dudes, like, just a lot of things just pile up and they get on your mind and it feels impossible to get things done. Alright, let's get our last enemy. And there we go. Uh, there we go. The application just quit. It it, it ended. It's done. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's um, that, that's about it for for um, Project Dark. That's just the, just the gameplay. You know, you go around, vanquish enemies, you shine your light on them, and you know, once they're yellow, you shoot them. And once you get forty of them, you're you're done. You're done with the game. It's very simple premise, but amusingly, it is pretty fun. Um. Now you're probably you no know, asking. It's like, okay. Well, so why, like, how, why, why are you shining a flashlight? Then why, why, why a flashlight? Um. Well, um. Two, two, two reasons for that. Um. One, one of them is because um. I really love the game Alan Wake and how that game uses the the darkness, like the flashlight mechanic, to its biggest biggest advantage. To um, you know, vanquish enemies, and so that's what I wanted to replicate. And, um, it's pretty much, uh, how that game to be. And also, it's like, you know, it's like, it's like the idea of, like, you know, you shine the light on, onto, onto, onto what's bothering you, you know. Light up what's causing the problem, and, you know, you, you persevere. And that's, that's the big idea of Project Dark, you know. The, the level's dark, you use the light, shine it a bit, um, I should have, you know, played around with more Unity's tools to make the level more darker per se, but, um, that's, that's alright. 
so you know this, this um, that's kind of the quick demo I wanted to give. So um, I have some no knowledge of the order. Um, uh, I like to thank you know Bria College, you know, for you know giving me the opportunity to be here, and um, I like to thank uh, you know Dr. Mario Nakazawa for this class for actually you know giving me the chance to. Know, get off my butt and you know make a game that I've always dreamed of doing. And, you know, and his uh, lovely T T A Ema, always keeping in contact to make sure you know I I stayed on track. Um, also like to give some you know some more acknowledgments to my friends um in my Discord group, uh, especially uh, my cousin, who's a friend who's really good at Unity. He helped me um <laughs> get the the camera thing working properly. Uh, my other friend, his he goes by the um, the username Super Poster. <clears throat> um, he helped me you know solve a few coding issues I was having. Um, so here, so the stuff I used, uh, I'll I'll put that I'll put that in the credits shortly. So the the motivation for this uh, software. As, as I stated earlier, the video is, um, you know, um, I was at a pretty low point time in my life, and this idea of, like, a character standing in the middle of darkness shining the light and banish enemies, um, that's kind of always the been recurring theme when I went to go and, you know, had my dreams. <laughs> um, so, so, there's some things I've learned in this, like, the, some non-technical things I've learned, especially the single most one, was learning to just, you know, ask, ask for help. Like, you know, no, there's, no, you, you always want to soldier on and try to do things, but, um, it doesn't always work. And trust me, I've, I've tried. <laughs> I've, I've legitimately tried. And, um, and so I learned to, you know, swallow my pride for once and you know, start asking for help and, you know, look at the internet for help. Um, the three most technical things I've learned, um, C Sharp. I think I can confidently say that I can, you know, code in C Sharp. It's pretty, pretty neat language. It's kind of like if you knew C++ a bit, you'll get the hang of C Sharp. It's a very verbose language. Um... Also learned more about more in depth of object oriented like programming. This class kind of helped me see like how to encapsulate things in, in the form of scripts and um, how each script interacts and how those objects are interacted by the scripts. Like you actually see the methods in play here in Unity than I did with any other um, thing in in the class. And I guess my last um, technical thing I've um, learned. Would be uh, using you no know, Git and um, how to properly you know use Git because <laughs> uh, I mean I mean setting up Git for Unity was was a hassle it was it was a nightmare and I managed to get that done so you know it's good um, managed to you know use Git to the best of my ability got set it up so it's like okay I can now just pull the build any anywhere I want and edit it and then you know submit my changes and we're good to go. Um, some interesting things I've learned about myself along the way while working on this project was, uh, I thought I literally could not do it. Like, I was, I was like, man, I, I, I am dumb. Like, I, I can't do this. It's, it's hard. And, um, I'm, I'm going to tell you all who are watching this, don't, it's so easy to think so low about yourself that sometimes you have to, you know, stop listening to your head and just go out about it you know because when when you think like other people think so that's not true other people think very like believe it or not will think very highly of you and i was surprised that other people were really impressed with my project especially like hearing other seniors who took this class before me were like wow this 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 is a good project and i'm like oh okay and that really pushed me to do more I, I realize, like, in stuff that I'm passionate about, I can do well, and stuff I'm not very passionate about, I don't do well, and so, um, that's probably the one interesting thing I learned about myself. The thing I'm most proud of is I finally get to make a game. Like, I've always, as a kid, wanted to make games. 
and it's um it's 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 insane <laughs> Um, that I never thought like you t if you told young me that I would be learning coding to make games I, I wouldn't I wouldn't believe it <laughs> but I get to make my game and I don't think I'll publish this game because I think I'm probably gonna turn this game to a new idea because um, this game didn't turn out the way I wanted it to per se I mean don't get me wrong I the gameplay is fun but I think making this game I think like I may recycle the ideas I had and just like maybe develop a new game with the current ideas I have. So instead of like a top down shooter, maybe it's like first person. Because I want this to be more narrative driven. I feel like it's too more too much action to really get the story that I want to tell. Um. Yeah. So um, I think uh that'll be it. That'll be it. This demo. Thank you for your time and watching. And, um, I'll see you then.